Ron Tonka is a leader in the manufacture of walk-in coolers and freezers for the supermarket, convenience store, and cold storage industries and has been since 1963. With this fine tradition of quality, customer service, and reliability, you can rest assured that you made the right decision when you bought Crown Tonka. In the next few minutes, we will take you through the installation process of a Crown Tonka walk-in. Panels against the job number on the bottom right corner of the blueprint. If these numbers do not match, call your customer service representative at Crown Tonka. Check the panel number written on the side of each panel against the panel number on the blueprint. Follow the blueprint to lay out the panels near where they will be needed. Be careful not to damage the finish on the side of the panel or the gasket material. Sweep the installation area to remove dirt and debris. If you're installing to walk in near a wall, allow air space between the existing building walls and the walls of the walk-in. The air circulation will reduce moisture and help prevent frost buildup. For freezers, allow at least two inches of air space to create an air gap, which will help reduce potential condensation buildup. Coolers need at least one inch of space. Follow the blueprint to measure out and snap the first chalk line for the outside wall dimensions. Determine the location of the starting or first corner. We'll call this point A. To make a square corner, plot out a triangle using the rule of geometry that says a triangle with 6 to 8 to 10 proportions has a square corner. Starting at point A, measure 8 feet down. This will become the second leg of the triangle. Draw a short line parallel to the first line at the 8-foot mark. Then, measure 6 feet down the first line from point A to determine point B. Hold the end of your tape measure at point B and position the tape so that the 10-foot mark intersects the line drawn earlier. This becomes point C. Establish the overall dimensions from corner to corner. Then measure diagonally to ensure you have perfect square corners before you chalk the remaining lines. Use points A and C as a reference to snap the second chalk line. Continue working in this manner until all of the lines are snapped. When laying out the alignment strips, be sure to leave a minimum 4-inch gap at each corner for the corner return. Alignment strips must be fastened to the building floor with a stud gun or concrete anchor. Once the alignment strips are in place, begin installing the walls. Select the starting corner wall panel and consult the blueprint for placement. Check the blueprint to find the panel that mates with the first corner panel. Remember that if you are installing a freezer, you must use butyl caulk in the outside seams of all floor, wall, and ceiling panels. Set the bottom of the wall panel over the alignment strip and complete the first corner by putting the second panel into place. Adjust the position of the two panels so they are flush at the top. While pressing the edges together, cam lock the panels to each other. Start with the top cam lock and work down. Make sure the wall tops are even. Repeat the operation to extend the wall toward the second corner. Check the blueprint to get the correct wall panels. Check to be sure each wall panel is tight against the previous one. Once the second corner is complete, construct the next two walls, the ones that face each other, at the same time. Add a panel to one, and then the other, and so on. Construct the final wall moving from one corner to the other. In most cases, the final wall panel to be installed should be a corner panel. Door frame panels may be shipped with or without the door pre-hung due to the size. Let's look at how to install a door frame panel. Remove the bottom shipping brace before attempting to install floorless cooler freezers and freezers with optional heaters in the bottom of the door plug. Freezers with four-sided heaters do not have shipping braces. Do not remove the heater track which contains the heating element. In general, install a door frame panel just as you would any other standard wall panel.
If your walk-in uses alignment strips rather than a manufactured floor, install door leg angle supports to give the door frame an extra degree of stability. Before installing the supports, measure both the top and bottom of the door opening to make sure the distances are equal. When the walk-in setup is complete and the panels have protective masking, the masking may be removed at this time. When you are installing a walk-in with Crown Tonka manufactured floor panels, use your blueprint to lay out the panels correctly. Use a transit or large level to be sure that the manufactured floor panel is level as it is being installed. If the building floor is not level, the walk-in will not be level. Use shims to level the floor panels. Lift each panel with a pry bar and insert the shims between the floor panel and the uneven finished floor until the floor panels are completely level. Please note, shims should be on 24 inch centers at the panel joint if possible. Remember, if the walk-in is for a freezer application, use butyl caulk between the floor panels and all exterior wall and ceiling panel joints. Use a 5 16 inch hex wrench provided to cam lock the floor panels together. Make sure that the ends are flush. Tighten each cam lock to a dead stop. You'll be able to feel the cam bring the panels tightly together. Before installing ceiling panels, check the blueprint to see if ceiling support plates are required. Ceiling support plates are designed to connect an overhead support structure by means of threaded 3 8 inch rods. If ceiling support plates are needed, nail them into position using the hardware provided. If you are assembling a walk-in with a cam lock ceiling, ceiling panels must be installed as the facing walls are built. Lag bolt ceilings may be installed as the walls are assembled or after all walls are in place. Let's take a look at how to install a cam lock ceiling. Remember that a cam lock ceiling is put up as the wall panels are assembled. Lift the first ceiling panel up into place. The groove in the ceiling panel will fit onto the tongue on top of the wall panel. Lock the trailing cam locks at positions 1 and 2. After each ceiling panel is in place, make sure that the ceiling panel seams and wall panel seams are aligned. Lock the cams between the ceiling panels, position 3, and then lock the side cams at positions 4 and 5. Place the last ceiling panel on top of walls, then cam lock to the matching wall panels to complete the installation. To install a lag bolt ceiling, set the ceiling panels into place within the wall fascia after the walls are complete. Maintain a 3 8 inch spacing between each of the ceiling panels and the fascia at the top of the wall panels. Install lag bolts at the far edge of the first ceiling panel, position 1, to hold the panel in place. Then set the second lag bolt ceiling panel into place. Be sure to keep the ends of the ceiling panels flush with each other. Lock the cam locks between the panels, position 2. Repeat this process until you reach the final two panels. These last panels must be put in together. To maintain the 3 8 inch spacing between the ceiling panels and the wall fascia, slide a loose lag bolt into position after every three ceiling panels, position 5. After placing and cam locking all of the ceiling panels together, install lag bolts in the ceiling sides and ends. Start with the first panel and work your way across the ceiling. Next, let's look at the walk-in door. The door comes standard with a magnetic gasket. If the door is not sealing when the door is closed, adjust the strike so the door seals properly. To accomplish this, loosen the tube weatherproof. The process is now complete. Consult the installation guide and the blueprint as you take each step along the way. If necessary, watch this video a second time. At Crown Tonka, we are firmly committed to producing the highest quality walk-in coolers and freezers. If we can be of any service to you, please write or give us a call. Crown Tonka, a leader in the walk-in industry.